What's going on fellas? What we're looking at right here is the hottest waste oil burner I sell. This is the Baby Godzilla with air preheat augmentation to bring that temperature up and help burn some of the thicker, dirtier oils. And I'm gonna be showing Basil how to build one of these, um, but we're gonna be doing an e-way smelt with it first today, just to see how it does melting anode sludge. Okay, we have 101 grams of mud it was dried and added to this crucible and we're getting ready to melt it this stuff's going to be a little bit harder to melt than the shaker table material so let's see how this goes Silicon carbide crucibles leave a top dense layer of crusty material, so they're not suitable for this, but that's all I had on hand. We're good enough though. That was approximately four liters or one gallon of diesel fuel in 25 minutes. Okay guys, so that was about as terrifying as it gets. Um, initially I saw nothing. A lot of the metal got stuck in the top slag layer there, so I did not have a, enough flux. This is what I was telling you about, Vassal. Remember when we discussed to use flux or not to use flux? This is what happens when you don't use enough. Also, the crucible that I used is a silicon carbide crucible, and it's terrible at this process, come to find out, I guess. It's a... Uh, seem to be sucking up all my metal. So you can see we've got metal beads that are getting stuck in that top layer. But we did get a tiny little cone of material. So I, would, I was expecting more than this for sure, but uh, there's 101 grams of material. So there is a lot of loss associated with the absence of sufficient flux there. So we're going to in the cone. Man, this phone is terrible. You can't even see the ingot with the way the lighting keeps changing automatically. I wish it would just pick a lighting and stick with it. So we got five grams of some very shiny silver gold looking material here. So this would be about 200 bucks if it was pure gold, but it isn't.
So there you go, Basil. We have confirmed that the baby Godzilla with air preheat augmentation can indeed melt anode sludge. You just need to use a lot of flux and do not use a silicon carbide crucible. You're going to want to get a fire clay crucible. I ordered one aeons ago, many moons ago. I don't know why it isn't here yet, but um, as soon as it gets here, I'm going to remelt the rest of that stuff and we won't have that silicon carbide entrapment problem that we've seen. So just keep that in mind. Do not buy a super salamander or a salamander super, as they're called, for your crucible. You're going to want fire clay, but um, this video does confirm that this burner can indeed melt this material very quickly.